Hey, welcome back to the VR Fisherman. Um, today, I want to talk about a feature that's going to be coming up very soon. I'm guessing probably next week. It's the multi-user accounts and app sharing uh, on the Oculus Quest. And it's going to be coming out on the Oculus Quest 2 first. Um, so in uh, January 13th, um, Oculus announced that they're going to be uh, giving, doing this app sharing and multi-user accounts. And so I'm going to go through the developer's blog and kind of go over what they announced and let you know why I think it's going to be coming out very soon, probably um, the week of February 15th. Um, they said next month we are rolling out two of the most requested features from the VR community, multi-user accounts, the ability for multiple accounts to log into a single headset, and app sharing, the ability to share apps with others on a shared device. With these features, the primary account holder will be able to add secondary accounts to their device and share the apps that they purchased with these secondary accounts. Not only will this enable safe sharing, but game progress and achievements will be personalized and saved separately for each account. Now, if you already have a device like a PlayStation or an Xbox, it's going to work similar to that. Um, so you have a primary account holder on that PlayStation and any games that you purchase, anybody that signs in as a secondary account on that PlayStation are able to play the games that you purchased. So this is going to be similar to that. There's a twist a little bit later on. It says we will initially launch these features on Quest 2 as experimental, so you will have to go into your experimental settings probably and turn it on, and then later roll them out to all Quest users. To start, a primary account holder can add up to three secondary accounts and enable app sharing on a single device. We expect an increased number of households to have multiple Quest devices, so the app sharing feature will later expand to allow a primary account holder to share their purchases across three devices. As we receive consumer and developer feedback, we may adjust the number of devices and secondary accounts as necessary. So that's pretty cool. So eventually, you'll be able to have, if you got like a family of four, everybody will be able to have their own device. The primary account holder will have to log into those four devices, and, and then they'll be able to share any of the apps that they've purchased for the secondary accounts. Um, now here's why I think it's going to be coming out very soon. If you have an app in the Oculus Quest store today, your app will automatically be opted in the app sharing feature starting February 13th. If your app is required to opt out for contractual or other reasons, you will need to disable app sharing by February 12th, 2021. Now, that's just a couple days away. This is the 10th right now. 12th is just a couple days away. That tells me that this feature is probably going to be rolling out next week, um, since they're going to make you make the developers opt out by this week. Now, here's in their additional protections in, that they have in place. To use multi-user and app sharing, the primary account holder and the secondary accounts must each log into their shared device using their own Facebook account. So. It'll be the same thing. You have to have a Facebook account to log in as the primary account holder. All of the other secondary account holders will also have Facebook accounts. Uh, the thing that's going to suck there is if you have kids under 13. Um, like I have a family of four. My daughter just now turned 13 just a few months ago. Um, so she, she now has her own Facebook account. But if you have like 12-year-old kids, um, it's going to be a little tough for them because legally... Um, they're not supposed to have a social media account um, under the age of 13. So, you know, that's kind of for the parents to decide on how you want to handle that. Um, but do know that uh, Facebook does like to kill accounts where they're, they're lying on ages and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, I, don't, I don't recommend it. I forced my kids to wait till they were 13 before they got their Facebook accounts, so... Um, but like I said, that is totally up to the parents to make that judgment. Secondary account holders can only launch the primary owner's eligible shared app entitlements on the shared device. 
if the secondary account holder purchases their own device or already has their own device, they won't be able to access the primary owner's shared apps on their new headset. Um, so the primary account holder does have to log in to each device to share the apps. Um, so if you have if you have two headsets now and say you're signed into your headset, your wife is signed into her headset, vice versa, your wife, your husband, whatever, <clears throat> only the primary account holder can share apps. So you can share apps with your kids. Um, your wife or husband can share apps with their kids, but depending on who purchased that app, those are the ones that could share it. Only the secondary accounts on the shared device may use the primary user's app entitlements, including certain in-app purchases or DLC if permitted. Secondary account holders may purchase their own apps and content on the shared device but cannot share these apps with the primary account holder or other secondary accounts. So make sure um, that the primary account holder of that device is the one purchasing those apps. That way they can be shared with everybody that logs into that headset. An Oculus user who enables app sharing can log into multiple devices simultaneously but cannot run the same app with their account on more than one device at a time. Different accounts can run the shared app simultaneously subject to the device's limitations mentioned above. So, like I said, the developers can opt out of this feature if they don't want um, that app being run on multiple devices at the same time. Um, but again, the main account holder has to log into each of those devices to share the app. And then once they've shared that app to those other users, they can log in and everybody can be playing the same game. So you can all be playing mini golf or you can all be fishing together using the same app on multiple devices under different accounts. A primary user cannot be changed without a factory reset. A primary user can add secondary accounts, but secondary accounts cannot add other accounts. So once you've added somebody as a secondary account, they can't just add one of their friends. As the main account holder, you are the ones that's going to be responsible for adding the three secondary accounts. Now I know um, I have a family of four. We're all pretty excited for this feature. It's going to save us a lot of money. We're not going to have to buy um, the same app for everybody. So I'm very excited for this. Uh, I sure hoped you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like. Um, please subscribe and have a great day.